And welcome to this edition of Trigger Talk TV. We're actually doing our first edition here in the new office. It's great, isn't it? Look at the space we've got. And today I've got Roy, CTO of Anyview, with us in, as our first Trigger Talk in the new studio slash office. Thank Roy, how are you? Thank you, I'm great. Thanks. Nice to be here. It's a really nice office you have. It, it is. Thank you, Roy. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk about the sort of uh, infrastructure layer for, for the open web around video and streaming and anything that's very interesting coming. So they're going to talk about the product is in the first instance and then we're going to talk about an open web uh, uh, publisher like Discovery maybe and obviously Netflix who are building out an ad funded model and who knows how they're going to build it but Roy's here to tell you how to build it. So Roy, first and foremost, what do you do at Anyview? Give us a little sort of overview of, of Anyview as well please. Thank you very much. So Karen, well, uh, I'm Roy, I'm CEO of Anyview, um, co-founder and CTO and Anyview is basically a full monetization platform. We, have, we are an ad tech and media company that empowers uh, effect, efficient and effective solutions. We bring a robust solution and a modular one that is not like a, just an SSP or an exchange. Yeah. We are tailor-made our solution to publish our needs. Yeah, and there's quite a, a, a number of parts of that uh, for, for publishers. So let's talk about your stack, right? And let's apply it to uh, an open web publisher who has lots of video inventory and, and has web properties and TV properties. What exactly do they need in that stack to make that work? So, like, for instance someone like Discovery or another sort of publisher like that. So how would you build that stack out and sort of apply to what you guys do? All right, thank you, Karen. So in today's like digital power, uh, digital open or open web three, so the publisher has needed to have like, to change for content owners and to, to be a technology provider. Yeah. There's digital property that has much change. It's not only about web, but the website that everyone knows like uh, Discovery or CNN and, or any, digital content that they have. They also have the social media that they need to manage. They also had their OTT solution or any video platform that they need to have. So this is like what any of you builds on top of it. If you take, this is the publisher or something that is exposed to, to the world or the client, me and you as a user, this is what we see. They need to manage like a whole stack of solution, whether it is advertising, the advertising solution, whether it is uh, their SSAI, if there are premium publishers that has uh, SSAI is server-side editing solution, yeah, yeah. if they have uh, OTT. OTT, whether it's all their digital property, their content, you know, digital content that they are producing yeah. for the news, whether it's their video, video production, Netflix probably invest mil billions of dollars yeah, yeah, into yeah. the video production. So they have their video in OTT, video, like OVP, online video platform, they have the OTT model inside of it, they have the, uh, the regular content that they are producing, content production that they have, and this is like becoming an endless solution that each publisher, they have the analytics model, Okay, unified analytics they need at some point. They need to merge all this data into one data lake. They have their DMP, data management system. Yeah. They have their ad, programmatic, like we talked about, their direct. They direct. So everything here needs to be connected at some point. Mm -hmm. like Publisher like CNN, Discovery, or Netflix cannot build everything in house. No, they they need to find a commodity. They need to find another publisher or another uh, technology provider that will help them to facilitate all of it. Any of you today holds a lot of models inside this world. We have a modular approach which is flexible and robust. So you you built all of this infrastructure. So you built. You know, digital content, SSAI, the advertising ad server piece, the analytics, the video piece, and the DMP, so, and the content streaming, uh, content management. Exactly. Okay. And then we know we are tailor made our solution into any aspiration. So if Netflix, of course, will not take our digital or video platform, probably they have their own production, yeah. but they can take all the entire ad tech suit, discovery, can take the ethic suit, unified analytics. What we are doing is that we are trying to help publishers uh, figure out. Right. Exactly, right. what is the need and to be modular. Not 
take everything, this is a commodity, and use it. So, so how many pieces do you have in, in the, in, within your suite of products? Like how many, how many sort of products? Seven. seven if right. I would need to, like, to give a number, it's a seven. We have Player and SDK. We have online video platform, unified analytics, server-side editing solution, uh, DSP, SSP, and Exchange. So this is like in general what we can bring. Like right. And so you, the, the beauty is that you've got a modular approach in the sense that a publisher uh, can sort of pick and choose what they want. They may be, for instance, they may have built their own streaming piece and you're able to add the ad tech layer, you're able to add the analytics layer, you're able to add you know, the digital content piece, uh, DMP. Um, so you can actually add all those pieces that publishers don't have uh, and make them sort of build a robust um, video sort of monetization, uh, video content streaming, all the things that you really need as a, as a, as a publisher, a modern video publisher. Exactly, like a big publisher or big media house. Yeah. Cannot use a commodity like let me connect any yeah. ad server or anything into their workflows. Yeah. Look how the board is look. It's, 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 it's quite complex. And if we will add arrows, how everything works, it will be like a lot of arrows that makes everything more complex and com and, and the workflows are complex. Yeah. Is, is it is this a level of complexity? You know, uniform. Like, does, it, does it matter how big the publisher is? I mean, the bigger the publisher. The more, the more content added, the more complicated it gets? Of course, of course. The Git Punch show, first of all, needs to have better user experience and everything mm -hmm. is coming with, tho with thoughts into the, yeah. uh, to their essence. Yeah. A small media house or any media house will have only a web you know, content where it's showing its news and then there is a video player, there is a display here. And yeah. It's nice, you know, you have the digital, you need only programmatic solution, you need an exchange, you need an ad server that will help you to facilitate everything, to yeah. make revenues. A big publishing house that has this one, and we do even even talk about the marketing, the marketing uh, solution that is probably online. It needs to be connected to all of the dots with the data here. Yeah. They have an OTT service. Yeah. Someone is managing social media. It's, it's, it's a cool. mess. It's a mess. Yeah. 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 Okay. And so that's that's that would be your typical sort of web-based publisher, right? So it's it's just kind of a fun sort of a, a application. So obviously we just come from ATS London, and one of the big buzzes was obviously the Netflix uh, stack. So how? To, let's wipe this off. Actually, I'll be happy to wipe it off. <laughs> I want to talk about how you, as a CTO uh, of any of you, would help. The build or stack it and what it should look like, right? So I'm kind of curious to know where they should start. Obviously, they've got quite a lot of this technology in house, but how would you sort of build it from scratch? And what would it look like? Because it's interesting to know, you know, everybody's talking about whether it be programmatic, whether it be direct soul, but they still need to have an ad serving core and they still need to connect all those dots. So, Let's just say we're whiteboarding the Netflix thing. Where do we start, Roy? Right? Let's let's build it. Add, let's build this uh, add, uh, add, uh, structure. This for, is why we are Netflix. here. Yes. Right? They asked for us to do yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Upstairs, they're paying us. Like, you know, so. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. So yeah, Netflix is, is like the, the only thing that is not complex. There is that they are doing OTT. Yes. Focused on OTT. Right. Everyone knows if I need to, to make the highest product that they have is the OTT. It's, this is the client they're consuming. This is their main model, the production, mm -hmm. uh, the user experience. This is the, their bread and butter. And I think that if they, Netflix would like to, to go to the advertising, the first thing that they need is data. Right, okay. Data is, it will play a massive key role, role right. yeah, key role in, in the, how I would build it. Because if you have data, you can act, you can do things, you can, you can, you understand what's happened. Yeah. You need to know what the user feels, you need yeah. to know if you're doing too much ads, not too much ads. There is a balance in the user experience. So you're talking about frequency capping, we're talking about sort of like where the ads appear and how many exactly. times the user sees it and in, in what context, etc. Exactly, and can be variety of, of how you're pushing ads. It can be, if this is the screen, it can be even something on the side for yeah. five seconds, yeah. it can be a full screen, it can be interstitial. There are lots of interesting things. No, you can shrink the screen and show the ads. There are a lot of things that if they will be very innovative, 
no one will care or will even like the fact mm. that there is mm. ads. If the, you can act on ads, you can buy directly from Netflix. There are a lot of things that Netflix can do with, with advertising. I would build like data, the data layer, I would put it on the center, the data layer and the ad serving, which is our connected. Yeah. I would have it, the ad serving. It's like um, <laughs> yeah. the ad serving is very important. Um, and your question, your question was very accurate about whether programmatic or direct. Yeah. So I mean, does it? Let's think that it'd be a mix of both, right? Uh, let's say they'll do a lot of upfront deals uh, with US, but then global deals might be a little more complicated. Maybe that's where the programmatic piece comes in. So how would that, how would that look? So you've got your data layer here, which is you know DNP, you know, which is an NFP product. You've got your ad serving stack. So let's talk about you know what that mix of inventory would be looked like for 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 uh, Netflix. So by the way, this is all hypothetical, like this is not a real. <laughs> but we like Netflix to do this anyway. But um, what would that mix look like? So yeah, it's I think the the, the essences will be of course. We all love programmatic, but the essence will be a direct relationship yeah. because of the user experience, because the control they have, the, because of the KPIs they can bring to advertisers. So direct will be a very, uh, a very uh, important thing in the stack. But as you said, they are a global company, and like making deals like in yeah. 120, yeah. Uh, 80 countries. It will be difficult. Dif yeah. yeah, it will be almost impossible. So they need to partner up with. All of the DSPs, the Trade Desk, uh, Google, Amazon, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you name it, uh, in order to, to, to achieve a rich and even experience and, and also uh, to understand the market. Mm -hmm. you, you also need to partner. So the programmatic piece, I think it will be more of a programmatic direct. Or, right. Or something that is, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or, or something that is more accurate or more mm -hmm. uh, tailor-made because of the user experience that yeah. Netflix will bring. Yeah. They want to control what ads, they want to understand what is going on, they want to... They will effectively give them more control over who's buying the ads, where the ads coming from, uh, and the process. I mean, would, would, there would be a whole process behind that as well about checking the quality, the content of the ads themselves. I mean, obviously, Netflix is going to be very careful about what goes against their programs and stranger things as a, as a brand, they don't want some crappy TV ad going against, they want something quality. Exactly, so that they can afford to have like, uh, you know, inappropriate ad mm. in, in Netflix, it's like, you cannot afford it, uh, and we want to go to a programmatic way. Yeah. So there will be probably a layer of IVT, and there will be, I'm sure that they will beat it inter internally, because this is something that you you cannot count on ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on anyone. It's yeah. something that you are the you want to be the the main decision maker. Mm -hmm. uh, you will, they will have probably more IVT vendors, but blocking the content and understanding what is going on, they will build an in-house, and this is really important because. They want to, 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 to have like the big brands, they want to have uh, a really, uh, they don't want to make any mistakes yeah, when, they absolutely. Are, when they are making ads. Use experience is hugely important. So do you think they've got to lean heavily on third party ad tech to kind of help with this you know, for data sure. layer, ad serving? For sure, for All sure. Right. And I, if, if they want to act quickly and if they want to act smart, in my opinion, they, they should give you a call, yeah? Yeah, and then, you know, I need to check. You know, <laughs> I, I, who, who, this is like the dream of everyone. Yeah. Like it's the, the main OTT platform in the world. Uh, but for ad serving, and if they want to act quickly, they need to find something that, that they can serve that has mm. the server side ad insertion, mm. which is very important for the user experience, yeah. that, that can handle a massive data amount, that can give them the ability to uh, to ingest their data yeah, yeah. because everything needs to, to return. And this is the key point. part then, the first party data they have on users, exactly. experience, this segmentation, the ability to kind of like target ads as well. Exactly. No one has this first party data. Yeah. It's like another world garden yeah. that comes into, yeah. into the game. Yeah. You know? So, so what, uh, just curious though, what do you think they're going to do? You think they're going to sort of roll it out slowly or would it be one, one ad per program or do you think they'll go all in? Like, so, because you're very right, it's like Netflix are very careful about their brand and how they're, 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 they're viewed and they probably want to upgrade some of those people to subscriptions so they don't want to kind of damage the, the, the brand relationship they have. So what do you think they'll do? Will it be 
you know. Uh, you can, as, as, as we started, you cannot develop any, everything in house. Yeah. You need to take like, a hard decision. And this is, you know, I'm, I'm not a priest. I, I, I wish I, I, I'd been, <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't be here probably. <laughs> um, but uh, it's like, I think that, that they will find a company that, that has the, the, the same cultural thing, that has good technology, yeah. or the best technology, I would call it, because Netflix is the best technology yeah. today in OTT, and they want someone that has it, and that has the, the, the models that they are missing, yeah. and a model approach. It's not that they will buy something, or I think that they will do some, some act about it. Mm. They will need something in that domain. This is my opinion. Uh, everything, key, key yeah, everything that will come with it, or, or the, the other uh, partner will have, yeah. they will not... And will this be a blueprint for other OTT uh, providers? So Netflix comes out and does this, will others follow the, the, the ad fund one? Because <coughs> it's really funny, Disney's doing something similar, and then other subscription models are going to probably follow suit as well. Yeah. You're right, you're absolutely right. I think, you know, it's, it's uh, Netflix are not the first one, no. I think the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. They saw that, that people want it. Yeah, yeah. People want at the end to see it. It's funny. People yeah. like avoid advertising, yeah. but they still somehow want it because. Yeah. You don't want to pay like ten pound, fifteen pound yeah. about the service. That's, yeah. Sometimes Absolutely. it's hard for it. So yeah. Disney started it. Discovery Plus is building their own. I think uh, Netflix are the next. But you know, you need a company who's got all the stack, and any of you definitely has that. So Roy, thank you very much. That was awesome to kind of apply that to you know one of the big trend trending stories in the space, Netflix. And I'm sure we'll get you on again to talk about when it does happen. What they can do then. <laughs> more sort of innovation so right thank you for your time thank you very much Karen. it was amazing and that was Trader Talk TV and we will see you next time